smiling. So Daniel, you put on yours, okay? So they're the stars of the parade today. You know, when you were baptized, you were the star of the parade too. And the day you were baptized, everybody came just for you. And you were the star of the show because that day you became a child of God. And today, Allison and Daniel, in their baptism, become child of children of God. Okay, so we're going to do the parade. And I'm going to, everybody needs to wear a hat for the parade. Okay? So you start passing hats down that way. I'll start passing hats down this way. Everybody take a hat. And now let's go to the back of the church all together. And then we're going to start our parade. And then I'd like to invite Daniel and Allison if there's family members who'd like to join us in the parade and their sponsors to join us as well. And then we as a congregation are going to stand and turn to watch the parade come forward, and the parade will stop at the baptismal line. Okay, everybody, let's go. Okay, congregation, stand up, and we're going to sing him 451. We have... Oh, that's not our hymn. What's the hymn we're singing? 453. Okay, now Daniel and Allison, you follow me with your family and your godparents, and then you kids follow in them. Ready? And then we're all going to gather at the baptismal fund. Now starts our parade. baptism, our gracious Heavenly Father, frees us from sin and death by joining us to the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
We are born children of a fallen humanity. Like water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn children of God and made members of the Church, the Body of Christ. Living with Christ and in the communion of saints, we grow in faith, love, and obedience to the will of God. And Jenny and Tim, I now invite you to present Daniel and Allison for baptism by saying, we present Daniel and Allison for baptism. Now Amber, called by the Holy Spirit, trusting in the grace and love of God, do you desire to have Daniel and Allison baptized into Christ? If so, answer, I do. As you bring these two wonderful children to receive the gift of baptism, you are entrusted with some responsibilities. To live with them among God's faithful people. To bring them to the Word of God and the Holy Supper. To teach them the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments. To place in their hands the Holy Scriptures and nurture them in faith and prayer. So that Daniel and Allison may learn to trust God. Proclaim Christ through word and deed, care for others in the world God made, and to work for justice and peace. And so, Allison, do you promise to help your children grow in the Christian faith and life? If so, answer, I do. And now, Jenny and Tim, do you promise to nurture Daniel and Allison in the Christian faith, as you are empowered by God's Spirit, and to help them live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church, if so answer, we do. And now, people of God, do you promise to support Daniel and Allison and pray for them in their new life in Christ? If so answer, we do. We do. Now, I invite you to rise as we confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed, which is printed in your bulletin. I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the Church. Do you, know, do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God, the powers of this world that rebel against God, and the ways of sin that draw you from God? If so, answer, we renounce them. We renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended to heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. and Joe, would you like to come and stand on the stool? Alice and Joe, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thanks. 
thanks, O God, that through waters and the Holy Spirit you give your daughters and sons new birth. Cleanse them from sin and raise them to eternal life. Sustain Daniel and Allison with the gift of your Holy Spirit. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence both now and forever. Child of God, he's been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. Alice, child of God, he's been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. Now, because of your baptism, Jesus has made you the canvas. So it's going to be through you that people are going to know Jesus' light for the world. So I'm going to light a candle. Stanley, would you like to hold yours? Okay. And then on October 16, 2012, I'm going to ask you to light these candles to remember this day. Allison, can you, would you like to hold yours? So keep them straight up. And I say, let your light so shine before us so that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Okay, now let's come and stand in front of the congregation. Just stand so they can see you. And let us welcome them with a round of applause. Okay. 